Hey guys, it's Abbo and today I'm going to be doing something different on this channel. I'm going to be making my first redstone tutorial. So forgive me if this is not amazing as it's my first one. However, I really want to do some more in the future. So feel free to leave some feedback down in the comment section below. You know, what you liked, what you didn't like, what I could improve on. Constructive criticism is always appreciated. Now today I'm going to be making a redstone security chest which I first saw on TrueMU's channel last week. However, one flaw in the system that he made is that one of your items always got stuck in a dropper and it was also extremely slow. So that's what I'm going to be remaking today. The blocks that you're going to need to build this are 26 redstone dust, 11 redstone torches, five repeaters, six comparators, three droppers, two hoppers, two glowstone, three chests, four item frames and four items to go in those item frames, but I recommend arrows, and 64 blocks of your choice. After you've got all of your blocks ready, you want to start with a 7x8x5 by by deep hole. So it's seven across this way, eight across that way, and five deep. Once you've dug your hole, start with the block of your choice, and we're going to make a walkway across here like so, one block and two block wide. This is going to be your flooring area, but obviously you do need the space underneath it, so make sure that that is free. After that, we're going to build a little wall across here, get rid of that block there, just across like so. Now, this is not going to be symmetrical, which is my biggest peeve about this, but if you really wanted to make it symmetrical, you could always add a block there. You'll see what I mean when we get rid of these two blocks here. This is where our glowstone is going to go. So take your glowstone, place it like that, and then take your chests and place them like so. Now you see what I mean about it not being symmetrical. There's three blocks on that side, two blocks on that side, but the quick way of fixing that is to do that and that like so. Now it's symmetrical, yay! So once you're done with that, you need to come around the back and we're gonna place down our blocks for the redstone to go on. So you need to place four in this corner here, four in this corner here, and then a bridge over the top like so. Now come over to this corner, you need to place a block like that, and then over in this corner, you need to do exactly the same. Everything on the top part should look exactly the same on both sides. We're going to place a block here and we're going to come out this way to this way and then another one there like so and then get rid of the corner blocks like that. Now we're going to make another bridge, but this time we're not going to have the corner blocks and then we're going to come down one last level and we're going to place there and there. So eventually you should end up with something like this where it kind of goes diagonally into the middle like so. So after we've done the above ground we're going to come down underneath and I'm going to switch to my light blue wool so that you guys can tell the difference between the above ground and the below ground blocks. First of all we're going to come down diagonally from the orange block like so and then we're going to come out one from the wall and place another block there. Then on the floor you need to place three blocks this way. There should be a one block gap there. Make sure that that's there otherwise this will not work like so. Then you want to come out over here. We're going to place one up like that and then another one up like that so that we've got a tower. In fact I'm going to leave that block in just for now because we need to place another one here coming back two blocks this way. Then you can get rid of that one like that. Now this next part can get a little bit confusing so please make sure that you're watching carefully. We're going to start off by coming one block above the ground and then we're going to do a kind of two by three area like this. So you should have two that way and three that way. Then I'm going to place a block on the roof right here. So it should be diagonally from there but also above that block. I'm going to place another one on this wall here and then another one there and then one final one on the roof there. After that, we want to come out from this block here, place three, one, two, three, so that we're in line with this one, then one last block down here. Finally, we're going to come underneath this block here, and we're going to place one there as well. After this, we've placed down all the blocks, so we're going to swing back up to the top, and we're going to place down our droppers, hoppers, and the last chest. So for now, we need to get rid of these two chests here, and then get rid of these two blocks there. Get your droppers and you need to crouch down so that you don't end up right clicking onto the droppers. Face this block here and make sure that you place your dropper facing upwards. Then after that, place down your next two droppers on top. They should all be facing upwards. Get your hopper and place it into the bottom dropper there. You'll see what I mean if I swing underneath. Your hopper should be facing into the dropper like so. Let me just go back on top. You need to get your chest and then face this way so that you're facing kind of uh, to the right of the build if you're looking at it this way then place down your chest on top of this hopper and then place down your last hopper directly on top of the chest 
then you can put down your chests that you had earlier. So after we're done with that, we're going to start with the actual redstone now. I'm going to start with the torches first. So you want to place one there and one there and then one there and there. So it's kind of still symmetrical up here. Then we're going to come down underneath and we're going to place one on that block and that block. Then only one on this block. It's not symmetrical anymore. Oh no! Then we're going to place a tower here like so. Your glowstone should illuminate for like a second and then disappear. Then we're going to place one down here and another one on this block at the back. Next we're going to move on to our comparators, so come back up to the top, you need to place one here and here, and make sure those ones are turned on like so, and then you need to come around, swing 180 degrees, place one here and one here. The last two we're going to place underneath the ground, one coming out of this dropper here, like so, and one coming out of that block there, if I get it facing the right way, I'm an idiot, there we go. Next we're going to do the repeaters, so come back up to the top and place one there and one there, like so. Swing back down underneath, and we're going to place one going into this dropper here, one coming out of this block here, and one coming out of this block here, like so. Make sure they're all on one tick. Next we're going to place down our actual redstone dust, so you want to place one in that corner there and one in that corner there, connecting up the comparators. Then across the bridge, like so, one on this block, one on that block, and then one on the blue block there, and one on the blue block on that side as well. Come back down underneath, and we're going to place redstone pretty much everywhere. On these two blocks here, on these three blocks here, one there, all the way along here, and then on that block as well. Coming from this torch here, you want to place one like so, coming into this block so that this torch will turn off, and then one more piece of redstone at the top here, coming into this comparator. So after that we're pretty much done with placing down all of the redstone, now we just need to place down the item frames and the items to go into them. So you need to take the block of your choice, and place one there and place one there, and then your item frames go on here and here, and then swing back around the back here, and then you need one there and one there. So it should end up looking like this on the back side. Now it's time to put the items into the item frames, but you need to listen carefully to this point because it's quite important. We're going to take our arrows, which is what we're going to be using because it stands out very effectively. And we're going to choose the combination here, but we also need to make sure we know exactly how many clicks we're doing. So what I'm going to do is have the arrows facing into the glowstone like this. On this side, I'm going to do one, two, three clicks. And on this side, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five clicks. Now on the back side of this, this one's three and this one's five, remember. So on this side, I'm going to do two clicks, one, two. And on this side, I'm going to do four clicks, one, two, three, four. So it should be one click less than what you did on the front. So to make sure that it's now working, your glowstone should be illuminated because your arrows will be facing in the combination that you've chosen. We can now take our blocks and put them inside the chest. I'm just going to use 10 stone for this tutorial. Uh, they should stay there until you actually move the arrows from the combination that you've chosen. The glowstone should go off and the things in the chest should start disappearing fairly quickly. Now they won't reappear until you put your arrows back in the direction that you've chosen. You should hear a click and they'll start coming back into the chest almost immediately. Once it's filled back up, you'll hear another click, and that is that. After you're happy with that, you can fill in this area. This will be your wall right here. You can make it as big or as small as you want. There we go. So that was the security chest. Obviously, it was on True MU's channel first, so all credit goes to him for making the video tutorial, but there was one floor in that one which I fixed in this one, and it's also a little bit quicker. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy the tutorial. I would appreciate that very much, and I will see you again very shortly. Goodbye. After those 15 seconds, you die and you'll be teleported to the questions. There will be five questions about the room, e.g. how many trees were there? Ah, yes it worked. We pour our watering can into the water and it fills up. Of course, that's how watering cans work. How did you not know?